Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Off we go in auto. Blue Alliance trying to claim as many of those center line notes as they can. Red Alliance looking for what they can score. Mechanical advantage sweeping down the center line. Nothing doing, tie score. And those notes delivered down into the wings now. The teams will attack the amp. One note down for each alliance. Second note goes in for the Rembrandts. Rembrandt shoots and scores into that red speaker. Now they begin their amp. Red Alliance has amplified. Here comes Blue, they're charged up. That amp is ready to go, they hit the button. No notes on the way for that Blue Alliance. Minute 30 left in this match, 60 to 33 as Red amplifies again. Shot up and in for Rembrandt. Now here comes Graybax on the defense. Rembrandt shoots and scores, but misses the amplification period. A chance for the Blue Alliance. Plenty of notes available down in that blue wing. Red Alliance has some material to work with as well. They shoot, they score, shoot, score for mechanical advantage. Barker trying to play some defense. Again, limiting Red's effectiveness during their amplification period. 50 seconds left. Blue Alliance just trying to get something going here. They're ready again for another amplification. There they go. They shoot, they score, they amp. But Red Alliance, uncontested. Now the Graybacks are scoring on the other side of the field. That Red Alliance score goes up to 122 now with 30 seconds left. Mechanical advantage feeding up and over the stage. Alliance partner scooping and scoring up into the speaker now. Red Alliance amplifies again. 15 seconds left. High notes coming out from your human players. Just a bit wide. Red Alliance clustered around their stage. They go up and time expires. The win, 145-76. Red Alliance will advance along our upper bracket. Round two, match eight will be the next time we see our Red Alliance. Blue Alliance down, but.